Okay, so I'm going to approach the bus, make sure it's not leaning, not hanging any direction, make sure there's nothing obviously wrong with it, looking good. I'm going to walk up here, check my mirrors, make sure they're secure, windshield sure wiper, wiper blades, make sure they're secure. Checking my mirrors. I'm going to check my front tire here. Got to have minimum tread depth for 30 seconds inches. Um, front tires, only new tires. I'm going to check the wall of the tire for abrasions, bulges, and cuts. Checking the rim for any cracks, dings, or dents. Checking the bug nuts, make sure they're secure. No excessive leaks in the grease seal. And the valve stem cap is there and secure. Just opening my door. I'm opening my passenger door because I'll be getting in in a minute. Checking the body of the bus for any obvious damage, any scrapes, scratches, it all looks good. Heel cap, present and secure. Checking my rear tires here, then on tread depth of 230 seconds inch on both tires. Checking the wall of the tire for ABCs. Checking the rim for cracks, dings, dents. Checking the lug nuts. Checking both valve stems and both caps are present and secure. I'm gonna check here. Got my DEF cap, present and secure. Exhaust pipe, present and secure. I'm checking the back of the bus for any obvious damage. Uh, my eyebrows are a little bit bent, but nothing really major. I'm not seeing any damage. I've been down, kind of check between my duels, make sure there's nothing there. Nothing hiding. Walking around. Checking my next set of tires. Minimum tread depth, 230 seconds inch. Checking for ABCs on the wall of the tire. Cracks, dings, dents on the rim. Lug nuts, grease seal, valve stem and cap, and valve stem and cap. Looking no major damage. My last tire, minimum tread depth, 430 seconds inch. Checking the wall tire for the ABCs, cracks, dings, dents in the rim, lug nuts are tight, grease seals clear, and bell stem and cap. When I come in the bus, got my handrails present and secure, got my stop sign, handle secure, the stop on both sides. My windows here, clean and clear of damage. Coming up here, checking my CHP approval and inspection approval certificate, CHP 292. It's inspected 3 3 of 2020, so it's good until 4 3 of 2021. Grab my registration and insurance. It's best 311. Try to open this one up. Bus 311, last four of the then match, 4376, 4376, 4376. It's current till December of 2099. It's good to go. I'm just gonna shoot this up here for now. Checking my preventative maintenance sticker. It's good for 3,000 miles or 45 days, whatever comes first. This one's 81799. 78865 is good, and to 22821 is good to go. Alright, next I'm going to check my emergency equipment. First I'm going to check my first aid kit. It's clearly marked, obviously secured. Keep it straight. So my bus is a 25 passenger bus, as indicated on the CHP 292. For the first aid kit, I'm supposed to have 16 units minimum. Um, all of our kits have 24 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's got the seal clean and clear to keep it clean and clear from dust and moisture and has a contents list. Let's sneak back in here. Gonna check my reflectors. I have to have three of them on the bus. I check a different one each day. Pop it out, twist it, 
sometimes these get stuck and you have to argue with them but set up good to go one two and three i'm gonna check my fire extinguisher i have to have a minimum of an 8 dc fire extinguisher easily accessible the pen is in and it's secure it's in the green checking the date it's inspected which is december 22nd 2020 it's good for a year it's supposed to be inspected by december 22nd 21 the nozzles free and clear of dirt check the rating on this under the ul label and this is a 3a 40 bc have to have an 8 bc so we are good Whew. and this becomes even more of a workout when you have to wear a mask okay i'm gonna start the bus let's find where i put the keys I started all my indicator lights come on so I have my oil pressure gauge at Rose is about 30 pounds my water temperature gauge is about 200 which is good my battery gauge is at about 13 which is normal uh, fuel tank is full which is good then my speedometer is at zero because I'm not moving which is where it's supposed to be then I'm gonna turn on my headlights Turn on my high beams, high beam indicators on. Right turn signal, right turn signal indicators on. And I'll need you to actually come outside and meet me at the door because I can't turn my hammers on. Door open. You can't turn your, oh yeah. So I turn my amber lights on and my amber light indicator is on. Second time around, I only have to mention the things that have changed. So 
then my entryway light is on, my stairwell light is on here, and my stairwell light up top is on. You probably can't see it from out here. As long as you point it out, you can use here to point it out. My red lights are on, my low beams are on, my left turn signal is on. Coming in here, I'm going to close the door, turn off the red lights, turn off the turn signal, turning on my hazard lights. My hazard lights are on. Going to put it in reverse. Turn the bus off, put the key back on, and use the stack here. On the brake pedal, to activate the brake lights. You can obviously hear the beeper. Don't forget to mention the beeper, even though it's obvious it's on. So I've got my hazard lights, my forward brake lights, and my reverse lights. And the last of the lights on the outside, my hazard lights are on. Putting it in park, removing the stick, turning off the hazard lights. Put that on. Open the door. I'm gonna go around. Because it's easier to use the stairs than to climb over. That wants your safe way inside. I'm gonna close the door. So I'm going to go through and check the interior of my bus. I'm checking the seat backs. The modest seat panels down here are secure. Seat backs, seat bottoms, all the way back. Seat bottom, seat backs. Seat bottom, seat back. Seat bottom, seat back. Already checked my back door. I've got the head bumper. I'm just going to make sure it does open from the inside. As I'm checking the bus, I'm making sure there's no obvious damage, just clean and clear of dirt and debris. I'm checking a window on each side every day, and a row of seat belts on each side. Making sure all the seat belts work. All good. Seat belt. Closing the buckles. Checking the other window. All right, everything looks clean and clear. Looking beautiful. I'm gonna check my front door here. This front door can be used as an emergency exit as well. Emergency door release. Notice it doesn't open. Flip the handle. Push it open. And it works. And trying to get these closed is a nightmare. So closed. Before I sit down, I'm checking my seat, make sure the seat is secure. I'm going to check my seat belt, make sure my seat belt's not frayed, not ripped. Good. Use my toes, make sure the pedals are present and secure. Check my steering wheel, no excessive free play. Got my horn, my horn works. So, got the mirror defroster here, it heats up the mirrors. And speaking of the mirrors, they are adjusted correctly. This bus does not have the auto adjusters, but I need to see an inch of the bus and 200 feet to the rear and my flat mirrors. I can see the entire front of the bus and around the front nose of the bus in my cross view mirrors. And in my passenger mirror, I can see all the seats behind me, out the side windows and out the back window as well. I check my passenger heater on low and high. Got my dome lights for the rear, they are working. All of my dome lights are working. Got my air conditioner, high, medium, low, off. This is temperature control for hot and cold. It's my door button, opens, closes the door. Got all my heaters up here. This is the defroster, high, medium, low. Leave it on high for now. It's the defroster and the foot warm, just the foot warm. Just the face fan, face and feet fan, air conditioner for the front, 
and maximum air conditioner. This is hot and cold. Turn it down off. Got my transmission selector. I got park, reverse, neutral, drive, manual, which I can downshift and upshift for mountain driving. And first gear is an extra low gear. I've got my windshield wipers on intermittent, low, and high. Got the washer fluid. It is good. Got my other mirror, which is good. Bridges. Mirrors. Visor. This is where I start thinking about anything. Did you do those? For, on the side. For, buttons, buttons on the side. Oh, yeah. So I have buttons here on the side that can just give you extra information about what your bus is doing. Um, one thing that he will ask is about all of your dash lights. So I have my parking brake light. I can turn it off by reducing parking brake, put the parking brake back on. It comes back on. So up here I have the battery light. There's an alarm light here that doesn't work for the bus. We don't have the alarm. I have my DEF light over here, my check oil light, my check engine light, my ABS light, and my seatbelt light. And I can give out uh, different papers for everybody so they can know what the lights are. Um, the last piece I'm going to do is do my hydraulic brake check. So, should have left the bus. Well, first thing, I'm going to put it in drive, make sure my parking brake holds. So, if my parking brake on, the bus should not move, which it doesn't. It's good. I'm going to turn the bus off. I'm going to do three or four pumps of the brake and hold it. And I turn the bus back on. It should pop back out at me, which it does. If it goes to the floor, that means there's a problem with the hydraulic brakes. Then after that, I'm going to do my three stop tests, or two stop tests. We don't do the parking brake stop test in the bus. So I'm just going to do a regular stop, just to make sure the brakes don't pull or grab. That's good. And then I'm going to do one more stop test, where it's a little harder application. Make sure the brakes don't grab, brakes don't pull. This is where you sit and think, make sure you didn't forget anything. I don't think I did. Did you have to, you have to hit the accelerator and see if it moves? Uh -uh. No, oh. don't have to actually hit the accelerator. And I think that is good. So then go ahead and stop the video. <laughs>